Okay, good everybody. Um, pretty much what I'm doing right now is I'm making a YouTube video for a couple of my friends so they know how to actually install Feed the Beast on a Ubuntu 12.04 Linux VPS server. So what I'm doing is I'm just at the moment installing Java. I will have every co every um command I've done before now in the description of the in, in the description of the um movie of the video. So if you need any if you have any questions about it, just leave a leave a comment. It's all good. But pretty much I'm just installing Java right now. I believe it's Java seven or something like that. So that's what we're doing right now. Um just waiting for it to continue. Yes. This may take a couple of moments. So just hold up for a moment. Okay, here we go. Now we passed that phase. Um, what I've done already is I've made a folder oops, called um, F F the FTB, right? How I did it is mkdir and then feed the beast. Okay? mkdir it stands for make directory, so pretty simple. Okay, now we're going to go into the directory. It is cap sensitive, so actually I might delete this here and make it all the case. Okay, now we've got a lowercase, so it's easier for us to go into. Okay, I'm quite tired, but anyway. Now what we need to do is we need to download Feed the Beast directly onto the VPS. For us to do that, we need to have this, um, the actual website up, because you can't obviously surf the web easily via Linux. So what we do simply is get our window up beside, up beside our screen and find the server we would want to choose. Any of these or any Minecraft server in general would be good. And then you right click on it and go copy address link just to confirm. If you right click and put it into here, it should come up at the end the, with the server.zip. Okay? So we're just going to use that and go wget and put that link in by how I do that is you control C on outside the actual server and then when you want to paste it into the into the actual um, party client you right click so once that's done you just click OK and it should install it quite fast yes this, ho this server is hosted in Australia so it should be right internet speeds going average okay okay now we're done there now we need to and zip what's up zip and copy that so you need to just highlight it and right click and it'll automatically get it going there you go now we've got the entire setup right here we don't need that zip, but they can remove it at their own time. But basically, that's the server installed. Done. All good. Now, for us to actually start the server for it to actually build its first boot up, what we'd have to do is go in here, and then we type some beautiful commands to allow us to start the server. I don't believe, I think it does work, but if I go server start.sh, yeah, no permissions, so I have to just edit these permissions. Well, to be bluntly, I don't really want, don't really want to do that because it's too much effort. So I'll show that at the late, later on the video. So if you want to start it up yourself, like pretty simple, just boot up from now. All we have to do is go and grab our awesome link of hell. Okay. So it's got the 
feed the beast server dot jar and no GUI. I should start the server, it should be on 1.5 gig of RAM. This is a 2 gig server, so it should be quite easy. Okay, it's downloading and currently booting up the server, so there we go. Uh, server crash, so obviously there's not there's too much RAM there, so I'll re withdraw this and put it down lower. Oh. Okay. Let's start up this time. Obviously, the server isn't like running with only five tool free. So here we go. So the server is starting up now. So this is pretty simple. Default stuff takes ages. Feed the Beast is quite new. If anyone does, if anybody doesn't know what it is, go to feedthebeast.com. Don't forget our little dashes because they're important. So while we wait half an hour, <laughs> click, click, click. Should be done anytime soon. There we go. Look, it's preparing the maps. Okay. <sighs> Sorry for this, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cut it out because I will want, I want you to see the full timeline it takes to install it. Okay, so the server's up. You got your normal Minecraft commands here, so to quit out, you hold down control and then press C. And then you'll appear back in the server. Now the server is offline at this point. So there's all the files we need. Just to be brief, if you want to get um, installed bucket plugins into this, it's quite easy. You have to download an additional mod for the server. So bucket forge. And here what this will do is it will allow us to enable bucket plugins within the actual server. And I didn't prepare this link earlier, so that's my error. Uh, okay. Well, I won't download bucket. Oh wait, I might actually. So we'll see how it goes. But pretty much what we do is just download Bucket Forge. It is made for the Technic packs, but it's not really worrying us that much. So then we can download the latest. Hmm. I haven't been in Jenkins for a while, so just download, I guess. Oh, that's right. Oh, what am I doing? I've got to install it on the server. So g address link cd core mods list and just w get and put it in there that should be done quite fast unless they've limited their thing which obviously they have so this will allow bucket plugins so for a user they can go into the bucket website and bucket dev this will search for plugins on both curse and bucket website so they're one the one and only now so category choose what you want it's free to go so pretty much that is most of the tutorial all wrapped up but uh I'll try I was gonna change permissions okay Okay, so cd dot dot that should take us back one direct one directory. I think I'll start the server up once more to get the the um entire server booted up so I can show you where the bucket plugins would go. So while that does that, I shall wait to the side.
While we wait. Not ready, finish. Hmm. Seems to have crashed, so let's try it again. Hopefully this time will start up properly. Okay, well, because I have somebody to get rid of the latest. And this CD core mods this RM get rid of this one and get rid of it. Now we get not so the latest. Hopefully there's some fixes. We go back by one maybe. Okay, that's what you get. Okay, hopefully this one, this one will work. If not, I'm just going to skip this part of the video. And there we go. Sorry to anyone who was interested in the bucket forge, but obviously. Something's going wrong and I don't want to go deal with it right now. So, do it later. So, anyway, in a second I'm going to change permissions to the server start.sh. All you have to do is actually start that program for the server to start properly. So, that shouldn't be too difficult. So, hopefully this will be all good. I don't know if this video is very easy to understand, but pretty much basic basis is... I'll g give you a, wait, three or four commands for you to start your server. And, yeah. Okay. CD dot dot. Okay, let's start the server one more time. If this doesn't work, I'm going to quit the server and go, who cares? Okay, critical error, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, I'm just going to delete it. I'll re release another video. Okay. There we go. So the server can start like that. So it's pretty simple. It's starting on one gig of RAM. And there we go. So that's the end of that tutorial. I shall release, release updated versions of this with hopefully a script instead. Because this is pretty unscripted and I only had a moment to get it prepared. So there we go. Server's so up. Okay.